What's up, guys? Matt and I are out here at the Thermaea Spa. My name's Eric. Welcome to Winnipeg. Minot, North Dakota, negative 25 right now. How you guys doing? My name's Eric and welcome to my first ever vlog. We're headed to Winnipeg, Canada this weekend. I'm on my way to go pick up Matt right now. Driving and vlogging is not a very good idea, but I am driving and vlogging right now. I'm just waiting for Matt. He's kind of hanging out. I think he's coming out right now. There's Matthew, locking his door. What up? What up, dude? You mind if I scooch this? Yeah, go for it. Are we still able to stop at the mall, too? Yeah, you down for Taco Bell? Yeah. Oh, it's cold. What's <laughs> up? Nothing like some Minot weather. You mind if I plug in? Yeah, go for it. Sweet. So Matt and I, we strategically, this would be all up in my grill, but we strategically planned it to go to Winnipeg, Canada, which is north during the winter time on a negative 25 degree day we strategically planned it yeah we thought we needed it to be a little colder so yeah you know we like to test the capabilities of human existence just made it to winnipeg canada here with the bro what's going on we're gonna be doing some pretty exciting things today. We're gonna to be checking out some of the best restaurants in Winnipeg. We're gonna be traveling down to the Forks. We're also gonna be doing some virtual reality. We may be hitting up a Winnipeg Jets game. We just found that out last night. So we'll see what happens there. Um, otherwise though, I gotta get my workout in. at the Best Western Plus in Winnipeg. We got it for like $70 a night. And this hotel's awesome, man, for the price point. I mean, you're at a good location in Winnipeg. It has all the amenities, man. We're down here lifting some weights right now. Brand new elliptical. Nice machines. It's also got the hot tub, and it's also got the pool. Matt, how are you liking the hotel stay so far, man? It's awesome. It's a great workout center, and beds are comfortable, too. Very comfortable beds. We got a good night's sleep. Um, besides it being like negative 50 with wind chill out here in Winnipeg, it's been a pretty good trip. Good way to start the morning off with a good workout. We are on our way to the Forks. This place is pretty hyped up. I don't even know what to expect. We're gonna go get something to eat, but first we're gonna stop at Tim Hortons, get some hot chocolate. Yeah, buddy. It's bitter. <laughs> That's what the car starts. Well, we can park over on the other. Did it start? Yep. It started? There's the cruise. So we're pulling into Tim Hortons. Is it worth it? That's the question we gotta ask ourselves. Hot chocolate, is it worth it? Because if we go in, we're not coming out. There's there's a rail of snow. Uh, do we do it or just go to the forks? Let's just go to the forks. All right. Designate one of your friends to be the key holder or the key master for the hotel room because I'm terrible at remembering my key. I always have to go to the front desk like three or four times when going somewhere to stay. Matt is the go-to key holder on this trip. He is the key master. Every time we travel, he's the dude I get the key to. That dude, he keeps it safe. He keeps it safe and he'll always get us in the door. Gotta always have a friend like that with you when you travel. We just pulled into the Forks. Some guy gave us a spot free ticket for the next hour so we didn't have to pay for parking, which is pretty cool. <laughs> well, in a parking but, spot that I, we literally pull in. This is how it works. We pulled in the parking lot. I'm like, how in the world are we gonna get parking? And then this guy, of course, pulls right out of the spot, <laughs> right in front of us. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
This is the Forks. It's an old remodeled downtown complex. They turned it into a marketplace. Through the research I found, there's like a really good fish place here. This place was supposed to be good though too. Grass roots. Oh, and that place too, Tall Grass Prairie. There's a lot of vegan options, I guess, here. I know you like vegan. Oh yeah, that's my thing. <laughs> for new burger. I think we passed it, dude. I think it's right over here. Let's see what they have to offer. Dude, look at that burger, man. So what are you getting? I don't know, the chicken burger looks pretty good. I'm thinking the Tropic Thunder. I'm looking at that Obi-Wan pierogi too. Is that pretty good? I'm gonna try one of those. How's the burger, man? It's good. What do you got on there? You got What's potato crisps, you got bacon, you get patty, you get the cheese. And it's like a sesame. Mm. We've arrived at Fergie's Fish and Chips. It's supposed to be like one of the best places in Winnipeg, according to TripAdvisor. The fish and chips so far are real good. Although I don't know if I got chips, I think I got fries, but these fries are really good. Matt used to try one. So this camera angle is way better than the one I just had. Matt moved the camera for me. It's a much more enjoyable angle. This fish though, just a little update. Amazing, amazing fish. The breading's really good, man. Grand Pure? What's your take on the forks, man? We still have a lot to see. I was just approached to, and they were talking about a, a sixth floor observatory that you can go up on top. We go to the elevator, we go up and we can see the entire city from one vantage point. So Eric has kind of asked me to update what I'm doing today. I'm rocking some photos today. I was using the, the big, like 70 to 200 lens earlier. I switched to a Sigma 24 to 105 with our, of course, Canon 5D Mark IV here. But that's what I'm gonna be doing all day. Just taking some photos for the Instagram and some of the photos right there. There's one right here too where you're fixing. So that's what it looks like right now. Oh, yeah, nice, that. man. That's smooth, deep in thought. Important travel rule, um, when you make a mess on a table in a different place, have to clean it up, hands down. I made a terrible mess, terrible mess. Now the table is clean. And also push in your chair. That's always a very nice thing to do. Made it to the top of the observatory. Wanna go out on the deck? Overlooking Winnipeg, let's do it. There's the bar too. Some of the city. Check out this game, what is this? We should go play it, man. Let's finish it up at the Forks. We're now headed to the mall. Matt's gotta get some swim trunks. Going to the spa tomorrow. Derma spa. Nordic spa cycle. Some they have a polar plunge. Outdoor ice bath. Um, we're doing that and then we're headed for to virtual reality. Virtuoso reality. I don't know if that means anything. All right. So we made it to the Winnipeg Mall. Much larger than I thought it was gonna be. It's got escalators. Another important travel rule. When you see an escalator, gotta ride it. Bath and body oh, work. There's right Swimco. There. On the hunt for swim trunks in swim the middle room. of winter. Oh, is it down there? It's right here. Oh, it's sick. So Matt got his swim trunks. Now we're headed to do some VR. Just made it to Control V for some virtual reality.
We probably should have booked an appointment before coming all the way here, but we got an appointment at six o'clock. We're gonna go grab a bite to eat. We're gonna try that spot. One great city. One great city. It's supposed to be a local pub. It's supposed to have some local craft beers. I feel like they gotta have a good burger, like a good barbecue burger. This is awesome. Really cool local find. Matt got some deep fried pickles. These things are like crazy, crazy big. And that's their deep fried pickle. It's not like those little round ones. They're like, yeah, full size pickle. I tried something unique, a Korean style uh, chicken. I'm not, not usually a veggie guy, but this is like pickles and cucumbers and like cabbage and stuff. And it's really good actually. It's really delicious. So. on our way to control the virtual reality. I'm about to put the headsets on. Matt's over there in that station. I got my own station. We're gonna play some multiplayer games. Snap, dude. Time wow. for the game. Oh, oh geez. Holy, what the? What the? I love it. This is scary, dude. What up? I, did I jump? Uh oh. Uh oh. Watch left, right. Matt, what are you doing? You're leaving me. You're leaving me. All the way back here. I'm here. I'm here. I need another pistol. So, Eric. Yeah. What are your initial thoughts on the game? Dude, this game is awesome, man. This is crazy. It's crazy real too. Look at this. What did you find on No, look, I'm opening and closing it. <laughs> there it is! Oh my gosh! What the Okay. Oh what's this guy doing? I don't know, there were grenades in there, so it must oh, be for a yeah. reason. Here it is, brother. Oh wait, what happened? Oh no, it's right next to you. Oh! What? No! I died. Nah, it's up to you, dude. Ow! Oh. 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 oh! my god. Yeah, take a picture. Oh! Oh! Yeah. oh, oh. oh that's right. <laughs> See this ref? What's going on? Ah! We are back from virtual reality. Matt, what'd you think about virtual reality, man? Oh, I thought it was awesome. The guy was pretty amused too. <laughs> Through our plays, and <laughs> he was man. We could have. We should probably start a virtual reality uh, channel on YouTube. Woo! Just left the hotel on our way to the spa, <laughs> Thermia Spa. They have like a Nordic cycle where like we can sit in a hot tub and kind of chill for a little bit, and then they also have like a kind of like a Turkish bathhouse in a way. Um, it's like a heated sauna area where you can just kind of lay out and lounge for a couple hours. And then Matt's getting a massage here right away. I'm getting a body treatment later. We'll catch you guys at the spa. We have arrived. Literally, I'm just down by the river. Massive facility. There's the cycle. just got done with my uh, body treatment. I got some complimentary chocolates. Dark chocolate, my favorite. 
I need some water pretty soon. It's too cold today for me to actually do the polar plunge. The overall experience here, guys, has been incredible. Uh, great hospitality, the service has been fantastic. And they have a really cool restaurant. Matt and I came, we ate earlier right before we uh, basically went our separate ways. He went and had a massage, I went and did the Nordic Cycle, and then I just got out of a relaxation massage. So I haven't even ran into Matt and in probably like, I think three hours now. We've just been doing our own thing. I finally found Matt. Almost like four hours later. Well, I got the Swedish, Swedish massage, and that was just fantastic. You're just coming here for the spa, it's great, but the massage is just an added bonus. I did the body treatment, and I mean, it was just crazy because they rub in oils and like oh, Japanese like technique. I would say my favorite part was either the massage, of course, yeah, or the best part of the whole experience was definitely the. I would have to say the relaxing room. Yeah, get, like a bunch of beds. They all get laid out on the floor and then you just basically like, yeah. just lay there with a bunch of people. Did you have the one with the headphones? Uh, no, I didn't. Yeah. It was full. It was packed in there. Yeah, I fell asleep. I started snoring like halfway <laughs> through. I woke up, took out my headphones and I looked up and then there was like three people just like staring at me. <laughs> I'm like, oh. I'm like, I'm sorry. I'm gonna leave these headphones off so I know when I'm snoring. Because who knows? I was out for like 40 minutes, dude. Who knows? I was too. How long I was actually snoring for? I mean, this was the place we wanted to go, man. This was like the number one spot. The reason why we came to Winnipeg was for this reason. Next time we come back with the vlog camera, we're bringing some gals with us, and it's gonna be a couples <laughs> retreat. I mean, Matt and I enjoyed a couples weekend, yeah. you know? We almost got the massage at the same time. Almost. It would have been pretty nice. Every big city, small city, they need something like this, where you can have that combination of steam, ice plunge, um, outdoor hot tub, even in an area such as Winnipeg, where it's negative 40 today and it's still open. It's an outdoor activity, which is really cool. When you walk out of that heat room or that sauna or the steam room, your body's warm enough to where the outside, even though it's a negative 40, it feels like maybe 10. We'll see you guys back in my night.